Hello, my name is Brian Mills, and I would like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, not only do we talk about great stocks, but we also talk about great books also. Hey, listen, this is just a quick video on Apple. Um, if you've been following me, following the channel, you would know that um, before earnings, I had a video on Apple. And I talked about placing call options and put options. I placed a call option to hedge my bets against the put option. I firmly and strongly believe that the price of Apple would go down after earnings. And the reason why is all of the money is always made during the run up. And this typically happens after every Apple earnings. All right. Apple has phenomenal earnings each quarter, but still the price always drop because again, I repeat, I can't repeat this enough. All of the money is made during the run up to earnings. And so we're going to have a slight pullback after that. And I stated that in the previous video that I could see um, Apple falling back to 135. It would be awesome if it fell back down to 133. Now um, we're actually around 131. So between 131 and 132, which is pretty good for for us, because this that gives us an opportunity to place more call options or we could buy back into the stock or add additional shares to our portfolio. All right. So this is a great opportunity to add some shares to your portfolio and place a call option, because right before the close, I was monitoring Apple um, throughout the day and I saw that um, it started settling the second half of the day on Friday. So if you take a look, this is the hourly chart and we can clearly see that the last four hours, it began hovering between hovering around 130 to 132. So what I did again, just based on what I'm looking at the chart, I can see the MACD, I can see the momentum uh, reversing to the upside and I can see us settling, establishing some some support around 131 so i placed a february 12th 140 weekly call option now i can't guarantee you that i may win but i really believe that um we may have a green monday now if you ever read the book trading for a living i always remember uh what the author has said about green days and red days and he talked about if you have a green Monday, you're going to have a red Friday. And if you have a red Friday, you're going to have a green Monday. And if you pay attention to um, the daily numbers on the Dow or the daily numbers looking at specific stocks, you would see that. And that's a model that I live by. Uh, whenever we have a huge sell off on Friday, people always come back in on Monday to start the week off. And hopefully that'll continue on this Monday. I'm looking for a green Monday. I'm looking for a uh, one to two dollar gain on Apple. Now, I can't guarantee it, but we may fall back down to one thirty. We may stay at one thirty, but I'm looking at the MACD. I can see that the momentum it's starting to shift. The momentum is coming back in. Volume is coming back in. So hopefully uh, we'll get a push up to 133 or 134 on Monday. All right. Now, that's just my predictions. Again, things do change, but I think some money is going to come back in on Monday. Just a little bit of money and uh, we're going to go from there. All right. So again, Apple price drops after earnings every quarter just like clockwork all right now i hope i added some value to you if i did please leave a like if this is your first time checking me out hit the subscribe button and keep coming back for more wealth building information peace